hello guys welcome to a brand new video and thank you for all who have subscribed to our channel and we will be continuing our work because you're liking it and those who haven't subscribed please subscribe hit the subscribe button below today we're going to reveal the top 12 highest paid korean drama actors in the year 2020. korean dramas are quite popular among the world and hence the actors who are casted in the dramas also earn a lot the first actor we're gonna look at is Ji Chang Wook. He is paid 50,000 US dollars per episode. Ji Chang Wook is best known for his roles in Empress Key, Healer, and The K2. His ongoing drama, Battery True Key, has recently been criticized for its sexually explicit scenes. The actor also has a Chinese TV drama in the works. Hava Gye Jansen, Ji Chang Wook, has still died in Battery True Key. Well, the next actor is also equally paid to Ji Chang Wook, and research has been shown that he's paying a little more than Ji Chang Wook, which is not revealed, so he's drawing on number 11. It's Lee Jung Suk. The owner of 89 Mansion Cafe and model actor Lee first gained recognition in school 2013 and eventually starred in hit dramas such as I Can Hear Your Voice, Pinocchio, W, and While You're Sleeping. The world famous actor Sung Jun Ki is also paid 50,000 per episode, but recently he has upped a little bit. Descendants of the Sun song rose to fame in period drama Sing You One Scandal and has also starred in box office films such as A Werewolf Boy. So Sung Jun Ki is highly in the media due to his divorce with his co star Song A Q. Well, the next actor in this list is Yu Ah In. This actor earns 59,000 USD per episode. Gallerist, actor, and host Yu's notable works include Secret Affair, which topped the charts and revealed his versatile acting, Six Flying Dragons, which won him Best TV Actor at the Baxing Arts Awards, and his most recent show, Chicago Typewriter. Yu stars in Zombie Thriller Ally, which Stopped box office star charts. Lee Seung Gi also earns fifty nine thousand US dollars per episode. Triple Threat star Lee, who is best known in My Girlfriend Is a Gimme Hell, The King Two Hearts, and Vagabond, is currently starring in a reality show together, where he travels across Asia and meets fans. The Hallyu star Lee Min Ho earns sixty two thousand USD per episode. Star Hallyu star Lee gained immense popularity in high school drama Boys Over Flowers, which won him Best Actor at the Baxan Arts Awards. He continued to be popular in Korea and overseas for his drama City Hunter, The Heirs, Legend of the Blue Sea, and his post-military drama The King, The Eternal Monarch, which is Netflix's most watched Korean drama. Park Seo Joon earned 65,000 US$3 per episode. Park Seo Joon is a South Korean actor. He is best known for his roles in the television dramas Kill Me, Hell Me, She Was Pretty, Quarang, The Poet, Warrior Youth, Fight for My Way, What's Wrong with Secretary King, and Ether One Plus, which was his highest rated dramas and also the most watched Netflix drama. Jo In Sung earned 67000 per episode. Jo won Best TV Actor at the Baxan Art Awards for his performance in hit drama What Happened in Bali. He is also known for his roles in The Winter, The Wind Blows, and It's Okay That's Love. The newly married actor So Ji Sub also earned 67000 per episode. The actors starred in What Happened in Bali and Oh My Venus, My Secret Terry is Actor. So, has previously won Best TV Actor at the prestigious Baxter Awards and the Grimmie Award. The 27-year-old actor Park Bo Gum earns 84,000 per episode. Park Bo Gum has gained widespread acclaim for playing diverse roles in many hit dramas. He has won dozens of awards, including the Top Excellence Actors Trophy at the KBS Drama Awards in 2016 and also topped Forbes Korea Power Celebrity List in 2017. Yoon Bin earns 84000 per episode. Yoon Bin gained popularity for his roles in national dramas My Name is Kim Sang Soon, Secret Garden, 
which won him the Taesung at the Peking Arts Awards, and recently Crash Landing on You. The actor is currently working on an upcoming film, Borgaining. Sakti to not to be okay. Skin tops the list. He earns one hundred and sixty-five thousand per episode. He has previously starred in Dream High, his breakthrough drama Moon Embracing the Sun, which have won him Pexing Award for Best TV Actor and Myla from the Star. He is quite popular in Korea as well as overseas and has a huge fan base. And his acting skills are also top notch. So we're at the end of the video. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. At least please subscribe because we're right now developing and we want your support. And for those who are at this point, you are our true MVPs and we're very happy that you like the content or you are spending time for our content. Thank you so much. Please continue supporting us.